Welcome back, fishing freaks, to a beautiful autumn day out here. We've got a lot of work to do today. And one of the things we need to accomplish is going out there and getting some gooey, gooey catfish or some sort of fish out on the water. I just can't resist taking the new boat out. Woke up to the sound of gunfire, shotguns firing in the distance. Uh, it is the opening day of duck season, so I'm sure there's going to be a lot of John boats running around out there today. And since it is fall and there are critters running around, I'm just going to check the trail cam real quick. We got the crows, more crows, doves, possum, Mr. Fox, foxes and possums. Over on this cam, Mr. Fox, a lot of foxes, a lot of possums. I usually see the foxes literally just with my eyes during the day and in the evenings. I gotta lock up the chicken coop, that's my next project I got going. Quick little segment on how I got the boat rigged out today. By the way, while I'm filming this, I still haven't posted the first video where I got the boat, so I don't know its name yet that you guys named. This is how we got everything set up today. I have my jugs, so I basically just put all these in a bucket, I've got my weights in there. I call these jugs. They're really not jugs, but you get the idea. These are multiple line jugs and some of them have counterweight systems in there, so they'll tip up. Actually, it's pretty nice. I've also got a milk crate. Set up a milk crate in here. It's perfect just for putting tackle trays. I've got some various uh, tackle in here. I'm only going to carry one rod out with me today. Don't have much room and don't want to get it too complicated. In here, we have our bait we have our cast net, all of that stuff. And we're gonna have fresh shad and bluegill that we caught yesterday ready to catch some delicious kitty cats, hopefully. So while I'm waiting on the jug lines, I'm gonna be also be doing some other fishing. Today is just a perfect example of why I got this boat. Because there's, there's so many trips I wanna go on in my bass boat where I'm like, man, I just don't wanna mess up my boat. You know, nasty shad catfish goo. It's literally duck season right now. We'll probably hear some shotguns going off as we go along and uh, you know I could go scouting for duck hunting spots or go go scouting for small game play I can scout for hogs all can be done and this little guy taking it up in the dirt so what I'm gonna start out doing is cut up some fresh bait and throw it along this creek channel here since it's getting colder I think the catfish are gonna stay a little closer to the creek channel I mean pretty much all species for that matter I'm gonna place them in different areas of the creek. Like one's gonna be at the mouth, one will be kind of midway, one will be back, and then I'll just throw a couple of randos in there. <clears throat> By the way, if y'all wanna do this, make sure to put the current date on there. So you gotta put your uh, contact information and the date that you're doing it. Um, Parks and Wildlife doesn't want you setting out jugs that are gonna be there for days and days and days. Um, so you can get a ticket if you don't have the proper date on your jugs. What I do is just carry some extra duct tape in my bucket and then I write the date on the little piece of duct tape, just cut it off and cover it up, up over the old date so that way I don't have to keep scratching out with like a Sharpie or something on the on the, the float itself. You just rip off the other tape, it comes off fairly easily and then just put you a fresh piece of tape on there that has the new date. Because I'm gonna start out with some shad. The shad is, uh, well, I don't wanna say fresh caught, but literally caught it just hours ago, probably like 12 hours ago. I'm going to cut up a couple of these pieces, just cut them in half, right here on the deck. This is exactly what I don't want to be doing in my, in my bass boat, getting it all disgusting. I think I'm going to drop two different ones here. I'm going to drop a shad one, so I'm going to have three. Uh, I got three hooks on here, so, so we'll kind of spread out through the water column. First one will be at like four feet, second one's going to be about 12. Uh, the next one will be a little higher in the water column. Uh, I'm going to attach a weight to this. So I made my own weights. You guys can make these at home really easy too. Just take some Dixie cups and uh, put some quick cement in there with a little wire on top and it's a lot cheaper than, than uh, putting some lead on there. Weight clips on with a little fast fast clip you can get all this stuff at any sporting goods store this is I think this is like 40 pound liter on here I'll just put a little uh, little circle hook on here Slake's not known for having a lot of blue catfish but blue catfish love this stuff so let that down kind of slowly Sure, nothing's gonna get tangled. 
Just gonna cruise on down the way here. First one's out. I think this next one we're gonna do a bluegill. Next step, we got our blue geese. Let's give it a chunk out here. I get the correct depth by pulling up on the line, like that's tight right there. And then I'll wrap the excess around the bottom there and just tie a half inch, a half inch right there at that T. And that'll keep it fairly tight. And then the weight system, see that's down. And then I'll float like that when it's down. And to, uh, reset it you just hang it hang it like that and then it rolls and it's ready to go so when a fish tugs on it then it'll go down go with a little uh, bluegill tail look at that pure white meat of that bluegill man Make sure our lines aren't tangled here and then we'll let it go This is all this is all new challenge doing the stick steer and doing this all at the same time okay then we'll do our half hitch down here do our half hitch just like that make sure our weight slides down and that one's good to go yeah baby so we got three set that's as far as I'm gonna go back in this creek. There's one other guy way back there. I think he's setting some lines as well. But I've got one close to the back. I've got one middle. I've got, actually, I've got two around the middle. And then right now I'm gonna go out to the main point area and set some, like one at the base, at the mouth, and then just, you know, just a couple out on the, the main river channel out on the big points and see if we can big leaves and I've got one rod one reel with me not the one you're thinking of but literally just a spinning rod we might as well do some trolling while we're going to our different spots right efficient aiming so I've got a uh, mini recon on right now so it dives uh, six to eight feet approximately I've got eight pound test on here right now I think I just hit bottom so I'm just gonna go along this bank see if I can pick up anything white bass crappie uh, any sort of bass species. Oh, just got one. I got one. I got one. Shoot. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, baby. Come on. Tangle with me. Might have a bass. Feels like it's trying to come up right now. We got, we got something for the cooler. We got something for the old cooler. Oh, this thing's pulling pretty good. I think this might be a large one. No, it's a big white bass. Oh my gosh, it's a magnum. Freaking magnum, baby. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. What a bonus. <laughs> Woo. Yes, sir. I have no depth finder on here, so I really, I have no idea what is going on. I'm just, just using my senses. Out here in my jumbo now, catch a fish all around, catfish and white bass will do, and large mouth get a little crop to do. Little jumbo jingles, how about it now? First fish landed in this boat. <laughs> oh, I think it's really funny that it's a white bass. You're about to lose you guys in the water. Wow. <laughs> Definitely not like my bass boat. Another popular technique that people will do too is they will uh, just drift. They'll drift shad lines. I'd like to figure out how to catch some really big blue catfish. I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments if, uh, if you know some techniques that have worked for you. Okay, bombs away. Let's give her a proper rip, shall we?
gas. Okay, in order to remedy this situation, we need to switch tanks here. Oops. Yep, that one's empty. I've never switched tanks on this boat, so I hope this works. Okay, got that on there. Fill the lines with a little pump. And let's see if we can get this thing started. Come on, baby. Yeah, let her eat. Little tank switch up. Should be good to go now. Oh, there's one. I got one. What do you got? What do we got, baby? Oh, wow. This has a little weight to it. Oh, goodness. Oh, we got another white bass. Yes, sir. God, those are mega fatties. Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah, still got him. Gosh, these things are running up in the creeks right now. They are running up in the backwaters. Okay, we picked up a few extra fish along our wait here. At this time, our lines have been set for about three hours. This is the really fun part that I like. It's, it's the surprise, you know? Are any of those things gonna have a monster catfish? Maybe they'll have nothing, I don't know. But it's the anticipation for one time. Me and Rob did this. There was a nine, almost a 10 pound bass on one of these. No way! No way! It's crazy, anything could happen on these jug lines. Phew, what a run! The last spot I put jugs out, I, there's one that is not tipped over, it's sitting over there. I'm looking for the other one. I don't even see it. Okay, we're coming up on one. Something just looks funny with this. One of them will just cut. Like somebody was either a jack wagon and cut my line, or I don't know, he got run over or something. That sucks because that was my best one. But I'm looking at two. These are the ones in the middle of the creek and they're both tipped up. So we'll see if there's anything on there. I don't see, see them bobbing, but they definitely got hit. Yep, I don't think there's anything on there. I'm gonna leave that one. Okay, so this one's bobbing a little bit. I think we got something here. Yeah, this one's moving. This one's got some movement to it. Okay, let's see what we got. Yep, I feel one. I feel one on there. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a nice kitty cat baby. Oh yeah. There's a nice channel cat. That's a fat channel cat there. And looks like he ate bluegill. The one farthest back in the creek. Look at that guy. Let's keep it the old feel. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I really don't feel anything. There's a stump. Wow, big tasty bluegill on there. 
nobody wants it? What the heck? This is the one I was hoping would just get bamboozled. That big bluegill head on there. Unclip our weights, let our little snap, just put it back in there. Wrap it up and put it in our bucket. All righty, all this is what we ended up with today. We got all our jug lines put up. A very, very fat channel cat. I mean, this guy has been eating good. And channel cats in Texas, they normally don't get very big. You know, this is probably around the average size. He's just mega fat. And blue cats, what I was really going after today, closer to the main lake and whatnot, they are much bigger. They have a lot more meat on them. Uh, but that channel cat is one of the fatter ones I've ever caught. Then we ended up with some white bass, of course. Wouldn't be a day on the lake without some white bass in this boat. Time to take it in. As usual, I'm gonna put these on ice and then clean them later and we'll make some golden crispies with them. And as I've been out here, my first video going up with the new boat went up. So uh, I've been going through some of the comments and y'all have me cracking up. I think we're gonna have to get some, some proper lettering and really name it on the side and make it look clean, but oh my gosh. But we'll let the video sizzle a little bit and see what else you guys come up with. There's one name that just keeps popping up. Alrighty, Roo, let's take it on into the treehouse. Oh yeah. Don't be on it. Crank it up every time. Back home again. Fish your ice down, life is good at the treehouse. Now if any of y'all are wondering about cooking these catfish, cleaning them, how do you skin a kitty cat? Well, I've got videos I've done before. I will link them down below. Um, it's always good to do it again. I enjoy doing it. Um, I would cook these up today, but Steph says she is cooking a pizza, and to be honest with you, Sounds pretty gosh dang good. But I caught just enough for me and Steph to have another meal together. So I will include that on another vlog very soon. And go ahead and just smash that like button for putting fish in the cooler. That's good times. And on the next video, the John Boat is going to have a name. Thanks to y'all. I'm going to go review the comments right now. So stay tuned and I'll see you then. That right there, my friends, is gonna do it for today's dangle.